if you're looking to find your way around the ship, let's look and see what's on each deck, deck by deck. First of all, this is deck two. Here you can find all kinds of the plaques that they have. They have a map on display here. But on deck two, the only thing you can find is cabins. And you actually cannot get from the front to the back because there's a space in the middle that you cannot go. So to, in order to get from the front to the back, you're going to have to go up two floors to floor four to uh, get past this blank area. And here at the very front of deck two, is the conference center. This one no longer has a name on it. This is crew only. This is the Europe room. And the Caribbean room. With a little sitting area out here. Here on floor three, you have the main dining room. Gives you the period of hours. And then this will also tell us what our dinner menu is tonight. And then, if you walk on the other side of the elevators, find the photo area. And then past the photos is the cool, which is where the skating rink is. And then because this one does not go all the way through, you have stairs or the elevators that will take you up a level. entrance to the dining room. More interesting things on the walls. This level does go all the way through. And you can also go outside on this level. So let's walk through, forward. We won't take the stairs up. We'll just walk through and see what all goes on that other floor. We got a band area to the left. And then you got a nice little seating area here on the right. Another nice little seating area.
interesting deck. It's actually the deck we boarded on. And if you come out the deck four and turn left and go up these stairs, you can actually get to the front of the ship on deck five where the helipad is. Thank you. 
doing some work down here, so I'm not going to be able to get through this section today anyway. But it does go all the way around the ship, I believe. Actually, the dining room. The second level of the dining room. The dining rooms on three, four, and five. This is where you actually first enter the ship. And when these doors are open, when you first enter the ship, you walk straight into the casino. Seems kind of an odd way to go. We ended up going a different route and did not end up in the casino. But that's what happens if you walk straight in. I'm not sure. Thing is there, but it looks cool. And this is actually the main Skyway. There's actually some seating areas off to the side as well. Periodically, it's like they're gonna do 
something with a Tahiti type thing. Over to the left is your soda machine. If you buy the soda package, you get a cup, you can fill it up there. And here is the duck and dog on the left. You got perfume and cosmetics. Well, the duck and dog on the right. Perfume and cosmetics on the left. The way you go down to the casino. Go and souvenir shop. And over to the left is your sushi station. It's called the Zumi. And on the left is your gifts and jewelry. On the right is the general store. And they have this display out in the middle today to try to sell you things. Now we're exiting the promenade. Over to the left here is guest services. Over to the right is a bar with a nice seating area. And we get this interesting looking sculpture. It goes from the photo area, level three, way up to the top. five dining room. Some of the things they have on the walls. also a deck that is 100% cabins. It does have this little bitty seating area at the front that overlooks the promenade. So you can see what's happening down on the promenade at night. Once so again, we're on the front of the ship. There's nothing on the back of the ship on this deck except more cabins. But there is a model of a ship here. of the seas. So once again, it's not the ship we are on, but it is a model of one of their ships. Deck 10 is also 100% cabins. It has this little overlook here that overlooks the promenade. It does not have any seats, unlike the other ones. And if we turn around, we have another ship's model, which is the Brilliance of the Seas. All right, so in this video, we've looked at decks two through 10. Okay. And decks two was mainly cabins. Yeah. Decks three had a bunch of cabins, but it also had the dining room. Yeah that we ate in, it had... Our the, dining room was three levels. And so the third 
deck was the um, main, main Well, it was the one where the people who were the anytime diners. What did they call that? Your time. Your whatever. Anytime, whatever yeah. it is. Anyway, that was accessed on the third deck. So then the next two were for those that were early and, and late seating. But you had to be careful which ones you went to. For example, we couldn't leave our room and go down to deck three and then walk from the front of the ship where our room was to the back of the ship because that deck does not go all the way through. Right. So you had to be cognizant as to which decks went all the way through. Yeah. Uh, two and three did not. Four really didn't simply because you had to walk through the casino. Yeah. So and, um, five was a good option if you needed to get from the front to the back. But what we usually did since our deck was all cabins. You could easily walk from the front of the ship to the back of the ship down the cabins. And one thing with this particular ship is it didn't have a mid um, ship bank of elevators. So they were at the front or the back. And that took some getting used to for us, but it worked. It worked fine. And we were able to push the stroller through um, the hallways um, with no problem and getting from um, where our uh, room was to the other end of the ship. The only problem I really saw when going down from the front to the back on our deck was that the hallways really aren't very wide and when you're pushing a stroller that is fairly wide and you come across somebody who's parked a scooter out that, in the hallway. That does kind of get, get, we, get we, sketchy. We, hit, we only there. get that option twice. Yeah, I mean that does And I literally sketchy. had to put the stroller wheels over the top of the scooter yeah, wheels and, in order for us to get on by. Yeah, but, you know, we were on um, deck eight. Yeah. We were on eight. Deck eight. Y'all don't take this person, I mean seriously, <laughs> I am horrible. <laughs> When it comes to knowing what where my room is and knowing what side of the ship, I get disoriented. It's just something he has gotten used to. He will physically every, turn me the right way. Every, when we come time, off every time we get off the elevator, I point the direction we need to go. Yeah, Whatever I mean he physically moves me, and, and when I'm not, when he's not with me, oh my goodness! I left dinner early with the babies one night. And I walked half the way, the wrong direction, down one side of the ship before I realized the room numbers were going the wrong way. The one thing that uh, really confused me with the numbers on this ship, though, is I'm used to the even number ship um, rooms being on one side of the yeah. ship and the odd number rooms being on the other side and of the ship. And that wasn't the case here. This was not the case on this Royal Caribbean ship. Uh, both sides had even and odd numbers. But 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 what helped you know whether you were going to the front of the ship or the back of the ship was that the number cons you know, up or down on the, the numbers. The, the you smaller know. numbers were in the front of the yes. ship, the bigger numbers so in the back. I did by the end, I mean usually by the end of a cruise, by the last full day, I have ma I've mastered where I'm at and how to get there. I mean I just I am excellent with directions in the car, I'm using a map, I, I can do it. But something about being on a ship Wait. ruins my sense of, of where I'm at. <laughs> okay, decks through to 10, uh, 10, Two. 9, 8, 7, 6 were all basically cabin floors. Yeah. Uh, the back of those, some of those floors had some other things, like the library was on one, there was the, the future computer, cruise, the, computer, the internet, the internet uh, was computer cafe, on whatever. one of those floors. Yeah. And so I would say that really, unless you really like the casino on deck four, yeah, uh, the main floor was probably deck five. Yeah, and, and um, going back to those, some of the other decks, one thing I really, really liked about Royal Caribbean on this ship is the art that was um, on every deck, every hallway. There was art all along. There were um, when you're, where the elevators were. There was a bigger display, and it was just really cool. And I also got to recognize some of the art uh, on the particular hallway that we were on had a lot of Japanese um, art and it was just beautiful. So I, I, I actually enjoyed um, looking on the different decks 
uh, at the different art that you might not see because your cabin's not on that deck. You know, well, that was cool. We do have an art episode coming up, but it does yeah. not include the stuff that was in like the hallways right. on each one. Yeah. It, this the our art episode will be on the, um, the what you saw coming up and down the stairs. Yeah, um, I, I just threw that in because there, you know, if you are walking around the corridors, that just gives you something to look for and to look at, and I enjoyed it. Thoughts on deck five. I actually really liked um, how this was set up. I, I liked the idea of the. Well, it's it, called the Promenade. Yeah, it's a. This is not. This ship is the smaller, uh, one of the smaller Royal Caribbean ships, and it does not have the open um, back as a lot of the bigger ships do. But they have opened the um, Promenade up in the middle, and there are interior cabins that overlook, balconies that overlook. They're not balconies. Not balconies, yes. they're just... The near ones do have balconies. Yeah, these, this one did not. But they do overlook um, the promenade. And so they have, a, it's really cool, they have the restaurant of it, it's got the pizza and it has sandwiches and, and different baked goods. And that's, breakfast foods in the morning. And breakfast, yeah, um, and breakfast foods. And that's all included with your, uh, you don't pay there. I mean, that's included with your dining experience. Now, um, there are like the pub and, and some other things that you can access there that would be um, additional money. But, um, and the sushi place was on, on deck five. Um, but it, it was, was, it was, I mean, it was kind of, I liked it. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was a really easy way to get from the front of the ship yeah. to the back of the ship. And the shopping and, options were cool. They had, uh, the way that they had things divided up, you kind of felt like you're in a shopping mall, you know, walking from room, from business to business. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, that's decks two through ten, and yeah. we're going to be talking about the other decks in the next Okay, episode. come back.